hello there, my gaming people. This is the act, and I'm back in Room to Doom version 19, and this would be stage number 6. Ha! <laughs> and it's got no head no more. Uh, it would be Mr. Erebus, or how the hell it's pronounced. Well, this was supposed to be a happy day and all, but uh, I think uh, YouTube has ruined the uh, party mode for us all, pretty much. Because we were supposed to celebrate that we have almost reached 500 subscribers on YouTube, but uh, no. Everything got ruined, so to speak, like in Fate No More style. Because if you have uh, watched Angry Joe's video, YouTube copyrights, then you would know why. Fucking backstabbers. Because there's a new content ED system that YouTube has shoved down our throats. And uh, it's really, really messy and bad news for everyone that makes either reviews or gameplay videos or pretty much any kind of video on YouTube because uh, they will uh, rape your ass personally with the new copyright system. If I take uh, Angry Joe for example, 65 of his uh, most popular videos has been flagged on YouTube and uh, as you might figure he won't uh, get a single penny for all those uh, videos so if I quote Angry Joe himself like 4 years of work and now it's just thrown into the garbage bin, thank you so much YouTube. I mean, if it wasn't for the YouTubers, then uh, YouTube wouldn't even exist. And then I saw Boogie's video and he was even, well, at least just as much uh, upset as uh, oh, I am actually today, as Angry Joe. But uh, Boogie was more worried about his friends because Boogie doesn't do you know, so many gameplay videos is more like a vlogger, you know. Ah, fucking asshole. But, like in our case, I mean, what's the fucking point of making videos if it's gonna get flagged or have third party crap shoved up in your, you know, house <laughs> each time you make a new video? I mean, what's the point? Uh, when I read the uh, comments on uh, Angry Joe's video and uh, Bogus video, it was, I mean, it was so many, like, mean and evil comments, like, get yourself a real job and blah blah blah. But I mean, well, <laughs> it is a, uh, like, real job. I mean, if you take, uh, oh okay, crap, you're gonna take this for some good minute. Oh, you fuckers. If you take Angry Weed Game now, for example, uh, James Rolfe, uh, he worked it so much that he burned himself out some years ago. I mean, he worked around the clock and everything. And still, people say it's not the real job. I mean, what's the difference between an Angry Weed Game nerd and a like, comedian or actor? I see no difference. He put a lot of. Uh, you know, hard work and time and effort between uh, in his own, in his all, you know, videos. So there's no difference whatsoever. So I can't really agree with, you know, what those people wrote, but I'm quite sure there's just uh, uh, a lot of jealousy involved because there was someone. Oh, now you have to see reality and get yourself a seven to five job, and you know. And all that crap. But there's also more stuff to it than that. I have mean, uh, taken a lot of risks. I mean, there was no like guarantee that yeah, you're gonna make it and you're gonna become a YouTube superstar and you will be able to live on this, you know, for a living. There never was such a guarantee. But 
you know, we are just as uh, affected by this crap as anyone else. It doesn't matter if you're a big YouTube star or if you're a middle big, uh, you know, channel or a small one. In our case, we're like a, well, mid, small middle, you know, YouTube class channel. But it does, you know, affect us in the same kind of way, so... I'm kind of both upset and sad at the time, because... Uh, I mean, I, we didn't think that we would be, like, able to... become PewDiePie Pi 2 or make millions of dollars or something like that, but... We thought that we at least could, uh, well, start making some kind of money. But no. In fact, we haven't made a single cent uh, on any of our videos, so... We have done like 300 plus videos. And I can't really say that this new content ID system is gonna make things better for us. It's making things even worse. So of course I'm both like worried and uh, kind of paranoid what's gonna happen next because uh, I did uh, I write the article at our homepage at uh, thegamerground.com about this not so long time ago and everything that I wrote back then has happened for real now so I'm kind of worried that uh, uh, the things that I wrote after that will happen now which means that uh, well, our account will be closed down, and we might even end up being sued. I mean, we don't have the economic uh, strength to, like, take on, uh, you know, companies like Square Enix, which uh, <sighs> smashed us in the face two or three months ago about the goddamn Final Fantasy soundtrack video. And, uh... As uh, Angry Yo pointed out, I mean, what's what the hell is the point by, you know, working your ass off and doing creative and funny videos when you get, you know, stabbed in the back and uh, you don't get anything for it? And I mean, if I get uh, all everything right here, Angry Yo quitted his uh, daytime uh, job four years ago. I'm gonna take this because uh, I know that things is gonna get even worse here. And I mean, uh, he can't, like, at this moment he can't make any new videos. I mean, he talked about doing a, a review for Xbox One, but he's afraid that... Uh, oh, fuck, it took the wrong one. And he thinks that that one's gonna get slammed too. And I'm afraid that that will be the case. I'm gonna take it and run for fuck's sake. Don't hit those. Don't stand there. Fool! Oh, and you fucking sidestepping piece of shit! Okay, I've changed your weapon now. Are you happy? Now you're dead. Anyhow. And he said at the end of his video, the YouTube copyright disaster video, that he's gonna try to do a, a review for Xbox uh, One game. I don't think he mentioned which one, but anyhow, and he think it's gonna... Where, what the hell? A teleporting invincible pig. Just when you thought that the pig wasn't bad enough. Where the hell? Anyhow, and uh, he thinks that... Uh, oh, on that, um, that, uh, that video will get flagged for copyright violations and blah blah. Fucking hang in my face! Take that as well. And where the hell did everything go? Oh, there. We go. And uh, as I said, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I, oh, I killed everyone. Uh, then I'm just gonna take everything that I can carry here. That's kind of waste, but fuck it. 
Ah. Take that as well. See if I'm just gonna check in out the save here because I can't remember everything. Because there's supposed to be like a secret level here somewhere. I think that would. No, that's the normal exit, I think. Anyhow, uh, because as I said, 65 of Angry Girl's videos has been uh, flagged, so. <laughs> well. You can uh, just imagine the like, odds that it's going to happen again. And that whole thing about getting a real job, it's not like easy to just after four years, like, oh no, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna try to get a new job here after four years of uh, YouTube. Yeah, it's, it's that simple. That's not uh, how it works. It's like you would say to a, like a musician or soccer player or something like that. Yeah, just just get yourself a, a real job. That's not how it works. Where the hell would those secrets be? So yes, I <coughs> just think, uh, what the hell are we supposed to do? I mean, when I wrote that letter to Afin, I said that we should start a YouTube alliance, you know, one for all and all for one, because uh, you can't fight big companies as uh, Square Enix on your own, especially not if you're a small or middle-sized YouTube channel, because there's no way in hell that you can win over their lawyers. That's like... Uh, you know, the chance that I would beat uh, Mac Tyson when he was his, his, in its prime, you know. That would only happen if he's, like, triple his own feet and I miraculously, like, knock him out. And you, you can imagine that the odds are very low that that would ever happen. Oh, there, there, there was one secret. Hallelujah. But I'm just gonna say... Fuck the other ones because I have no clue where the third one is. I'm just gonna go for the secret level. Sad enough, I took a lot of damage, but fuck it. The tricky part is that I have to jump at the exact right point here. Oh, I fucking hate this part. It's nerve-wracking! You have to jump at the fucking exactly correct time. How the hell can I hit my head in the air? How's that even physically possible? Because I... Why did this fucking thing even have to be here? Ah, oh, I fucking hate this. And why the fuck don't you jump, you retarded goddamn asshole? Fuck, this is just like the YouTube content, you know, ID system. They just fuck you in the ass. <laughs> this feels like a NASCAR race, just going round and round. I mean, what the fuck? This is getting ri ridiculous. Wait a minute, I hit my- what the fuck? You see this? I hit the head in the goddamn ear. Okay, then how the fuck am I supposed to get there? I'm just supposed to like... This is fucking stupid. Oh, God damn it! Ah, <sighs> fucking hell, what does this do? Oh, the, the hell, this has nothing to do with that. The fuck? Oh, okay, I have already done it. Uh, 
I bet this is how Angry Yo feels about having 50, uh, 65 of his videos flagged. That's a great way to like appreciate all the hard work that all the YouTubers has done since you know the start of YouTube. But thank you very much, you fucking assholes. This is the way we show our appreciation for all your hard work. You suck it up. No! Yes! I fucking made it! Finally! God damn! Well, ah, fuck the last secrets there. Well, I'm sorry about that, but uh, <laughs> it was harder to get to the secret level than it was to finish the level itself. But anyhow, to summon up all this uh, YouTube copyright crap. Uh, I honestly don't know what the hell we are supposed to do, because uh, I actually took my time to read through the copyright policy and all that bullshit, and uh, companies such as uh, Peseda and Ubisoft, they are not uh, standing behind this at all, because like Angry Joe said, uh, he's pretty much friends with uh, Peseda, and uh, they are not cool with this, so... I think the only way to solve this, besides the thoughts I had on the YouTube Alliance, would be that, uh, well, you just play, like, uh, free-to-play games, you know, indie games, uh, mods, and when there's a, when there's a AA, you know, big fucking, you know, super titles, you know, like Tomb Raider or whatever, you just have to get some kind of copyright, uh, contract with the company in question because that's the only way that you're not gonna get slammed at one point or another so that's the only solutions that I can come up with at this point because uh, really what's what are you supposed to do as a small uh, youtuber you know you can't especially not if you don't have the money to like pay a lawyer to do like a you know, court kind of thing. I mean, uh, I think that we have to, like, uh, you know, stick together as a YouTube community to make YouTube do something about this because, I mean, it was like the article I wrote that uh, YouTube are basically uh, uh, digging their own grave because, I mean, if I ask you as viewers uh, a question, what are YouTube without videos and content? Nothing. I mean, what would YouTube be if it was... No videos would be uploaded at all. It would just be a blank page. And as, as far as I know, at this very time, they flag people, they warn people, they take videos down. And, I, I mean, when we got, like, slammed by Square Enix, uh, I even become depressed a bit because... Uh, you know, you become afraid because you don't know Will any of our other videos get slammed as well? So, what the fuck is one supposed to do? So, I uh, just bear with us, guys, and I just hope that we, our account, don't get closed down, and that perhaps someone starts a new kind of YouTube, you know, a YouTube that works, but it's not named YouTube, of course. Uh, well, sorry for babbling on forever, but I just needed to get this off my chest, you know. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please comment what you feel about this whole issue with the YouTube copyright crap and uh, have a nice day and this is VX signing out. Take care people, bye bye.